we're going to keep on pushing. You're looking at the Al-Qaeda leader here, of basically the leader of ISIS. And this is the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. Now, this man should not even be the leader at this point. The only reason he is, is because they let him go. Imagine that, right? Arrested multiple times and released multiple times. Just like the top Taliban five that we just released. And I'm telling you now, Al-Qaeda wouldn't have a leader right now if they would have never released him. So this is what's going on. And this is what I want to point out. Um, the statements that this guy makes. you got to pay attention to what these guys are saying. His final words in 2009 to U.S. troops was, I will see you guys in New York. You think you know something? I guarantee you he didn't just say that to those guys to scare them. He meant that, I feel. And I think it's part of a long, drawn-out plan for a final hit on New York. And you got to watch for the signs here when they're letting things slip. Now, like I said, this guy should not even be in power. But guess what? They let him free. What do you think is going to happen with the other five Taliban? <laughs> well, we get some nutcase back. ISIS leader to the USA. And this is the newest warning that I want to share with you. Soon, we will be in direct confrontation. Man that should not even be free is making these threats on America. And what are they doing? They're marching right toward Baghdad. What did we spend a decade in Iraq doing? This is such a charade, ladies and gentlemen. I want to point out what this guy's saying. He is threatening all of us as Americans and any troops that we have in the region. And this is what they plan to do so that you know. From here on out, when you hear anything about Iraq, Syria, this whole ISIS thing, this is it. This religious caliphate that they want to establish here. And I've already showed in other videos where they have already took the bulldozers and started bulldozing the berm, separating Syria and Iraq. This is what they want and this is what they are doing right now. What have we done here? How could it get to this? It almost seems like it's done by design, doesn't it? It does to me. And at this point, guys, I'm going to tell you this much. All the soldiers and lives that we lost, these guys plan to stretch this thing from the borders of Lebanon. You're talking Damascus, Baghdad, all of this. They want it all. And right now they're making moves. So how are we going to stop this? Or is it even our place to do so? Some would say yes. We went over there and ran. We, we reshaped everything over there. And then we just dipped out. And now this is what's happening. Once again coming back on Obama. You see? That's why I put out that, that video on the backlash. This, um, this all is falling right into place for ISIS and there's no one there right now to stop them they are crushing the Iraqi army and Assad's army is busy fighting all the people that have been surrounding him and bombing him so they're gonna continue with this and I this is it right here this is their goal this is what they want and there are literally hundreds of thousands of people fleeing Iraq into neighboring countries because of this. And you have Saudi Arabia and Iran on each side play, playing the puppet masters, uh, sending troops in and backing this thing militarily and financially. So that's the latest. I wanted to point it out. This is the end goal when it comes to Iraq and Syria. This is what the enemies want over there. You're looking at it. This huge... Islamic State that they're carving out as I speak. 
I'll keep you guys updated as I get more information, and I'll leave links so you guys can read all the rest of these stories and look into a little bit of detail here on what he's stating here with his threats. It's been Dabu 7. Eyes open.